A few weeks ago, we highlighted the Russell Collection at the Martha Canfield Library in Arlington. Today, we're back and taking a look at the rest of the library, part of a series of visits to local libraries in the towns of the North Shire. In coming weeks, we'll be visiting other libraries in different area towns, looking at what they offer their communities and what makes them different and unique. The Canfield Library, which moved to its present location on East Arlington Road in 1996, is next door to the Fisher Elementary School and right across the street from the Arlington Memorial High School. It's also just a short walk from the town's Happy Days Preschool. The history of the library stretches back to the earliest years of the town. Records show that in 1803, Nathan Canfield Jr. was named as one of 25 members of the newly formed Arlington Library Society. According to the library's website, the Arlington Library Association was established in 1858 and operated out of a room in the old railroad station. From 1897 to 1908, the Arlington Circulating Library was housed at the home of Martha Canfield. It was operated out of her living room in a brick house on Main Street, now known as the Arlington Community House. After her death in 1919, the library was carried on by the Library Committee of the Neighborhood Club and by Dorothy Canfield Fisher, a well-known writer and Martha's niece. The present-day Martha Canfield Library was incorporated in 1937. It quickly outgrew that location, but nearly 60 years had passed before the present-day library was constructed and opened to serve the needs of the town. The Russell Collection, a 6,000-volume collection of rare books and documents, many relating to the early history of Arlington, is located on the library's second floor. But there is much more to the library, as its executive director of more than 30 years, Phyllis Skidmore, told us. And that opens up a lot of resources besides books. We have um, databases online. There are links to those on our website. Um, we have Universal Class, which is online courses. And we have a Vermont Online Library, which is online de reference databases, periodical databases with quite a bit of full text material. Um, there's a Mango Language database, so you can learn, you can even learn to speak pirate. <laughs> and we have some online uh, newspaper databases. And um, the other thing that we have that's some, somewhat unique to the library is we have some learning materials for homeschool families. We have a globe, we have a puppet theater, um, we have a, a human skeleton, small version. <laughs> um, we have math games and word games and all sorts of things like that. Mm -hmm. and now we have, you know, we do programs for the community also, and I and I think a lot of people, even though they read on their own devices now, um, some. Um, there's, they still come to programs at the library. Um, they still come in to print something if their printer runs out of ink or breaks down. Um, and there are people who still cannot afford to have a computer at home, so we're here for them. We also can give advice on using the computer. Um, we can help with people doing online job applications. So there's a lot of things that we can help with that um, you know, if it's something that people encounter that's new to them. We often have someone, a volunteer or one of the staff members, who can help navigate through all of that. The library has a space for youngsters to meet and do homework or research, as well as 34,000 volumes altogether, including those contained in the Russell Collection, available for borrowing or for reference. It also has all the modern Internet features, as well as an interlibrary loan program. One of the unusual features of the Canfield Library is that it also includes an art gallery. It offers several exhibits each year, as well as a craft show, where local artists exhibit and offer items for sale, many of them conveniently suitable for holiday gift giving. That craft show is underway now. The art gallery is located on the ground floor. The library also has several spacious reading rooms and areas for those who just want to come and do what most library patrons like to do besides borrow books, to sit and browse through books and publications. For the GNET-TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever.